Every job I've had, I've loved. I've been working in the food business all my life. I started in the very first KFC in the world. I started in this industry just because I loved cooking. I grew up in India. I Once I decided that this is what I wanted to do, my parents said, do whatever you want, just make sure that you're the best at it. When I started in the restaurant business, I was actually 13 years old. So <laughs> my first job was at Roy Rogers, and I was a cashier. Restaurants provide opportunities to women of all ages and at all stages of their careers, from students to retirees, from servers to owners. I started my career off as a hostess, an hourly employee in a small restaurant chain that just happened to be growing in the U.S. and internationally. And because of that growth, I had great opportunities to accelerate and move up inside that company and therefore develop my career. I started working in restaurants during the summer uh, when I was in college. And they made me a management offer as soon as uh, I finished college. I started when I was 20 years old back in 1984, so I've been 30 years in the industry, and I started as an hourly employee on the front line um, when I was going to college. Before teaching, I was in the food industry for over 20 years. For this part of my life, it's not a paycheck, it's a people check. There is a time in your life when I think that it's a wonderful place where you can give back to others, and this is that wonderful place. And the food industry has helped me to get to this point. I mean, you need to know everything. You need to know business. You need to be really good in, you know, in the technical aspect of things and in the artistic uh, side of things. It has to be an amalgamation of everything, and I think that this industry is like no other industry. For me, the American dream it is not about the bottom line. It's having the opportunity to provide for my four children, having wonderful people that I work with. That's success for me. That's the American dream. My favorite part about the restaurant business is the people side. It's such a complex set of businesses in the industry, but fundamentally it's quite simple. We provide products and services. We provide great employment for people literally all over the world. And so I love that feeling of just community that permeates the industry. It's one of the only industries where um, it doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, what color you are, what race or creed you are, as long as you can put out a plate of food or do the job that is expected and do it as well or better than anybody else, that the field is wide open for everybody. This is one industry where there truly is no glass ceiling. You don't start as an owner. You don't start uh, as a franchisee. You start at, at the entry level. And if you work hard, you find the right mentors, you find the right network, you can have a phenomenal career. And when I think back, on my earliest days when I first started kind of rising up through the ranks and was amongst executives. At that time it was a very male dominated business and I was the only woman amongst those groups. And I can certainly remember back to when I would feel pretty intimidated by that and wonder whether I should be in that room or not. But as time passed I learned that none of them were holding me back. It was my doubts or my concerns that was holding me back and I think that having confidence in yourself and knowing you have something to offer will be what allows you to contribute. You just take advantage of opportunities and don't worry about what are you going to get out of it. Just go and serve and, you know, it'll work out. It'll be great. When you do something and you do it for the right reasons, there's a certain energy and there's a certain positive things that always happen. I know that I have accomplished what I needed to accomplish and that makes me feel good at the end of the day.